सो वॉट इज़ अ पीपल वेलकम टू दिस न्यू सीरीज ऑफ टॉकर फॉर डेवलपर्स एंड इन दिस सीरीज वी विल बी कवरिंग ऑल द मेन कंसेप्ट एंड टॉपिक्स ऑफ टॉकर ऑल द कंसेप्ट यू नीड टू लर्न एज अ डेवलपर और अ डेवलप्स इंजीनियर ऑल्सो वी विल बी बिल्डिंग सम हैंड्स ऑन डेमो प्रोजेक्ट यूजिंग टॉकर सो नाउ लेट्स गो थ्रू ऑल द टॉपिक्स एंड कंसेप्ट वी विल बी कवरिंग थ्रू दिस कंप्लीट सीरीज सो फर्स्ट टॉपिक विल बी वॉट इज टॉकर एंड वॉट आर इमेज एंड कंटेनर्स एंड वी विल सी what are the docker main commands we can use what is docker file and how we can create or build images and how we can create containers from a docker file we will see what is docker volume or how we can develop our application directly inside a docker container with the help of docker volume next thing we will see what is docker expose and what it is docker publish and how we can map the ports from a container to our local machine we will see how we can push our custom docker images to any container registry like gcr aws or docker hub we will see how we can build our real time projects with docker next thing will be docker compose with multiple containers we will see how we can use multiple containers with docker compose or how we can deploy those containers how we can work with multiple containers we will see how we can build multi container applications multi container applications you can say suppose application is using some other service suppose a node js app is using mysql service so we can have two containers one is sql container or one is our node js application container so we will see how we can integrate those two containers with each other and how we can work with that so that is basically a multi container applications our last topic will be continuous integration and continuous deployment to the aws and we will see how we can integrate a ci cd pipeline with our dockerized application so now let's go to the first video of the series and in this video we will see what is docker and why we need to use docker what are the advantages and disadvantages of docker and we will see docker main components and we will run a docker hello world container so now let's move to our first topic like what is docker and as you can see there are some definitions about docker as you can see docker is an advanced version of virtualization the main work of docker is containerization the main keywords are develop ship and run any, anywhere we can run multiple containers on one host container does not have op any operating system is it true so this can be a question like uh, do containers have any operating system so let's see containers have some os files but they are too small in size of comparison to the original operating system so these os files are negligible right so docker is an advanced version of virtualization so what is exactly virtualization let's see creation of a virtual rather than actual version of something such as operating system a server a storage device or network resources so basically you are using a thing any resource virtually like you are using a server virtually you are using any operating system or a storage device or some networking resources that can be called virtualization right so in this two concepts comes in like one is hypervisor one is virtual machine so what is a hypervisor hypervisor basically enables you to build or create virtual machines on a host like right suppose you have a local machine and you want to create a virtual machine on your local machine so you need hypervisor for that and what is a virtual machine a compute resource that use a software instead of a physical computer to run programs and deploy applications each virtual machines run its own operating system and functions separately from the other virtual machines even when they are running on a, the same host right so on the same host you can create multiple virtual machine you can run multi, multiple virtual machines but each virtual machine is isolated right and you have to pre allocate your resources when you need to create a virtual machine using a hypervisor but in docker you don't need to pre allocate any resources to build a container right so now let's focus on like what is the ba basic difference or main difference between virtual machine and docker so as you see here if we need to create a virtual machine that is called hardware level virtualization right 
so let's see on this diagram this is hardware level virtualization how we create virtual machines so we on the base we have our hardware that is our host and on this host we install a hypervisor suppose you are installing your virtual box for creating virtual machines right so on each virtual machines you want to create you need to pre-allocate some resources for creating that virtual machines and on that virtual machine you need to install a operating system you need to install a complete operating system that is very that can be very heavy right so using virtual machine you need to provide pre -alloc you need to provide your resources like you need to pre allocate your resources and you need to install an operating system on that so that can be isolated so because of that your virtual machines are very heavy in size but on the other side if we move to docker virtualization it is basically os level virtualization so in this we have our hardware on the base and on our hardware or host we have only our host operating system that is our main operating system suppose we are using linux ubuntu distribution and on that linux kernel on that linux operating system we need to install docker engine and using that docker engine we can run multiple containers like as many as we want so this is basically and a very lightweight approach to do virtualization so it is an advanced level of virtualization that because this is this uses os level virtualization so now let's see what is the main problem that docker is trying to solve and why we need to use docker suppose you want to install any software so what is the basic step you will do when you need to install a software so first you will download the installer for that and you will run the installer so most probably you can get an error message during that installation right so you will troubleshoot that issue and you will rerun the installer and most probably you can get another error also so this happens with everyone right so docker makes it really easy to install and run software without worrying about setup and dependencies so for using docker what you need to do you just need to pull the docker image for that specific software you want to use like uh, if you want to use mysql so you can pull the docker image of mysql you want to use node.js so you just need to pull the image for node.js and you just need to run that image as a container so docker image comes in already packed with all the os dependencies and the software dependencies so you don't need to worry about any setup or any dependencies that are mismatching or any other error about dependencies so docker makes it really easy to use any software without installing or without getting any error so let's see some basic theory about docker so you can see docker was first released in march 2013 and developed by Solomon Hikes and Sebastian Paul and docker is an open source centralized platform designed to create deploy and run applications docker uses container on the host os and run the application but it allows applications to use the same linux kernel as a system on the host computer rather than creating a whole virtual os so we can install docker engine on any operating system but docker engine only runs natively on linux distributions that why you cannot install directly docker 2 on windows or mac os you need to install docker desktop for that docker is written in go language docker is a tool that performs os level virtualization also called containerization before docker many users faced problems that a particular code is running in a developer system but not a user system the same problem we have demonstrated recently because docker image comes in with packed all the dependencies so we don't need to worry about any dependencies or setup if we want to install or run it software directly using a docker image the another thing is docker is a set of platform as a service so docker is a platform as a service that uses os level virtualization as we know whereas vmware uses hardware level virtualization so we have seen already what is the difference between hardware level virtualization and os level virtualization and docker provides a type of platform for our application to be executed so when we run any software or any application using docker so that specific software or application cannot be executed on your local machine 
but that application basically runs inside a docker container so now let's see how to run some docker commands right so if we run directly the docker so it gives us uh, some different commands that we can use so you can see what are the basic docker commands that you can use so let's run a hello world container using docker so we just need to write docker run hello world and if we run this command so you can see what is happening so with this command it's basically saying unable to find image local world latest locally so i am pulling from the library hello world so pull completed now downloaded newer image of hello world right so it is saying hello from docker so now let's see what is happening when we run this command like docker run hello world so this is the same command when we need to run any container docker run so we can run any container using docker run command and we can build a image using docker build so we will see all these commands in the next video but let's quickly see like what is happening when we run this hello world command so now let's see what is happening when we run this command docker run hello world so it is basically a docker client that we are using because docker run hello world is using docker client and then docker client send a request to docker server for searching the image hello world the same image we want to run as a container so first thing docker server first search for that image locally if it find that image locally so it will revert back to the docker client and run it as a container but if it does not find that image locally then it will search that image in the docker hub once it found the image so it will pull that image from the docker hub and it will revert back to docker client to run that image as a container and then it will run the image as a container and then we are getting that message hello from docker so that is all for today's video and in the next video we will see what is docker and what are main components of docker what is docker architecture and we will see what exactly are images and containers like what is the difference between an image and a container so if you like this video please hit the like button and do subscribe to the channel and please stay tuned for the next video on docker thanks for watching